want to cover several different things this, uh, this afternoon, but we're going to start with one of the things that we've heard the most questions about, which is why is there a meridian sitting in front of your display? It's not there to disguise the Kestrel, seriously, and it's not even there to, as to compare and contrast size. The, the meridian is there, along with the Cirrus, uh, part of what we're doing as a separate business division called Kestrel Aeroworks. Kestrel Aeroworks will take existing airplanes and kind of bring them up to what we would consider sort of a new Kestrel sort of standard, where what we're really looking at is how do we make them more user friendly? How do you get better utility out of them? How do you get better value for the customer? I've been flying this Meridian for about, I've got about 80 hours in it right now, going back and forth to Maine. It's been, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good learning experience. But there are also things about it which are frustrating, which I knew before at an intellectual level, and now I'm experiencing at a personal level. And they are what we would expect, which is that avionics have made huge advances in being more user friendly. There are other things that have changed, such as this part of me, and I don't fit quite as well as I used to in other airplanes. And we have changes in expectations, whether it's the passengers in the airplane, the, the, the pilots, the maintenance. So we're looking at how do we change some of those things, and that's one of the things we'll do at Kestrel. In this case, uh, starting with the Meridian, we're going to put in the Avidine Rev 9 cockpit. And the reason I say cockpit as opposed to just system is we're going to start from the seats and take everything out forward, replace that with what will end up being a much more user-friendly kind of interface for the pilot. I've got about five or 600 hours in my Cirrus with the Rev-9. And in an interesting sort of contrast that we argue a lot in this industry of where does user-friendly make you complacent versus get better utility, it really is this powerful tool for making things user-friendly. It also makes me more complacent. I'm truly spoiled. I'm not nearly the instrument pilot I used to be, which was never a very good instrument pilot. So the Rev-9 becomes the basis of taking what is a very capable airplane in the Meridian and making that capability more accessible to other people, making it use, easier to use. But it is more than that that we're going to do. I don't want anybody to have in their mind a picture of a Rev-9 screen stuck in a flat and aluminum panel with the bolts showing so that it looks really cool and airline-ish. We're going to take all that out and we're going to make a panel that would be much more like what you'd expect from us in terms of where are gauges, how do you see them, how do you reach them, what do you use them, what, how's the visibility, how do you get in and out, and a kind of a whole new package. <clears throat> That's the first of the, the projects we'll be doing. There's some things like that we'll be doing on the Cirrus airplane. There's some aerodynamics changes on the meridians. There's a bunch of, of different things we'll do. But all of them are about making this airplane a little more user friendly. Now to the other question of, well, why would we do this? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of reasons, but it starts with the, the engineering necessary to put this into the front of the meridian. It's really pretty similar, similar to the engineering that it puts it in the front of the Kestrel. So it's not an all incremental increase in workload. It's the work we're going to do anyway. But we'll be getting paid for it sooner, so it's a revenue stream which helps. But also, very importantly, it keeps us in touch with the customers that we think will be buying the Kestrel in the future, and that the Meridian is a very logical path up through turbine engine ownership, and then if you need the higher capacity, volume, range, payload, speed, it'll be a logical sort of airplane. So it keeps in touch with the customers. And of course, then the last reason is, this, this is not the reason we're doing it, but it could be that it'll be easier for me, and that's why. <laughs> so I want it in my airplane. We may as well sell it to everybody else. No, no, really, there's logic. There's business logic here, guys. So that's the Airworks side of this business. It's a separate division. It'll be doing these modifications to the, the, uh, the Meridians and the Cirrus airplanes, and, and, and we're looking forward to all of that. Aero TV is brought to you by... The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls, and the straight and level mode provides one-button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and beach bonanzas and barrens. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90.